Hey there, kids, Jane Pratt. It is Mr. Hurlbert, and I have three special guests joining me today for our story time. I have my dog, Kaya, my other dog, Roland, in the front right here, and my newest dog, Benji. And so today's story that I will be reading to you is titled, Can I Be Your Dog? by Troy Cummings. The reason why I chose this story is I was inspired by Benji's story of him wandering around the neighborhood and finally finding a home at my house. And I'm so happy that we've had Benji join our family. Dear people at Yellow House, woof! Can I be your dog? I'm potty trained and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you. Who's a good dog? I am. Sincerely, Arthie. P.S. I know every house on Butternut Street, but I asked you first. Dear Arfie, we're so sorry but you cannot be our dog. Our cat is um, allergic. Good luck in your search, the Honeywells. Dear Butcher Lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I could keep the floor nice and clean. Arfie. Look, pal, I've got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let a dog into my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking in a pooch. Veronica Shank, butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dry giblets and good luck finding a home. Nom, nom, nom. Poor Arfie having a hard time finding a home. Dear fire station number five, can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots. Plus, let's just say I know my way around a fire hydrant. I have sniffed out every single one on Butternut Street. And yours is the shiniest, Arfie. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of fire dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on file. Best wishes in your search. Station number five. Oh, that poor Arfie. Dear junkyard guy, I'm not gonna lie, you're my next to last choice, but these past few days have been rough. Rough, rough, Ruff. So please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much and I can bark if people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours, Arfie. Dear Mutt, get lost. Wow, that junkyard guy is pretty mean. Dear Last House on Butternut Street, can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds and your windows are broken and there's a funny smell, but I'm not picky, just lonely, Arfie. Return to sender, nobody at that address. Aroo! That poor Arfie, he's so sad, right Kaya? Right, Benji? Right, Roland? So sad. He's got to stay in his wet little box in the alley. And now he's sad and he's going to sleep. <gasps> but look! The next morning, there's a letter on his box. And who's it addressed to? It says, to Arfie. Dear Arfie, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be there no matter what. Snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see that you already know everyone on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first class partner. With hugs and head scratches. Mitzi Whipple, letter carrier. 
P.S. If you agree, meet me at the big blue mailbox. There is, ooh, let's see her name again. Mitzi. There is Mitzi waiting to see if Arfie is going to come to the mailbox. Let's find out. <gasps> and look, there he is running to her. Aww. Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes. Truly yours, Arfi. P.S. Woof! Scratch, scratch. The end. Wow, that was an awesome story, wasn't it? I hope you guys enjoyed it. And Benji, did you enjoy it? Yeah, you enjoyed our story. What about you, Kai? You enjoyed it? What about you, Roland? You enjoyed our story? Oh, very good. Well, bye-bye for now, Cape Dream Prep. See y'all later.